Hi parents, how are you? Uh, thanks for tuning in on this great Wednesday. I hope you're doing well. So today I taught a mini lesson to your kids, um, trying to give them a focus around some inference work that they could be doing in their, in their reading book, specifically the inferring a, a character's feelings. So with that, I, um, I went back to the book that I shared, which I will do. Like that is one of the things that happens in the classroom is that you have this book, the kids are familiar with it, and then we can really go back and we can really um, dig in and you know, kind of see like what exactly, um, what strategies can I use to get to a deeper place in my thinking? And once I have the book under my belt, I can go back and really kind of think about that. So, um, so that's why we went back to Last Kiss from yesterday. So the other thing that, that um, we did uh, was I really tried to show them, I really tried to show them how to think about the, the actions, the words that, and pay close attention to those to kind of figure out where, what might they be feeling. And thinking first about, is it an up feeling or a down feeling? And does it feel like it's a high energy or a low energy feeling? And then jotting a photo, you know, and then once you figure that out in that quadrant, then trying to find those exact words to really show it. And then I modeled, I showed them how to create some writing, some jotting around that. And, you know, it's not, um, I think jotting, I think post-its are fantastic for kids that are reading in you know, second grade and above in novels. And one of the things I love about post-its is I love that you can put them right in the book. So when you have them in the book, they can, you know, you can um, you know, point to the, the place that's helping you get that, that, that inference work, right? So that you can go right there and it can remind you of that, which can spark conversation, but also um, can remind you, you know, why did you, you know, what is, what's happening here? And, you know, tracking my character, I have that post-it right here. I can go back. Oh, that's right. That triggers that scene. That's why, why Ralph is feeling this way. And that you're sort of accumulating these post-its. So it, it can be nice to have like, you know, sometimes I tell kids, I mean, we don't want kids to have a ton of writing. We want them to be reading, but we know that Writing and talking, the whole purpose of writing, parents, for kids to write and jot is to help them see the deeper layers in the text. Kids know, um, learn very early um, that, you know, in kindergarten, first grade, reading means reading the words and word calling. And a lot of times when kids get into second and third grade, their mind is no longer on fire. They have all they've thought about is like, can I read the words? Can I, you know, fluently, you know, um, read all the words on the page? And if I can, I'm a good reader. Actually, reading the words on the page is easy. Um, we need, you know, I'm not saying it's easy, but you know, it's the, the thinking part is the hard part. And so um, when kids are in a just right book and they can read those words, we need to move into comprehension work. And in third grade, for sure, we need to get them to do deeper work. And in order to do that, they have to pause. They have to do a little bit of writing. Um, and so I often recommend maybe two post-its per chapter can be like a stop sign for you to do some jotting. Um, you know, this jotting was, was quite long, quite nuanced. This is a, a more of a fourth grade. If you have a fourth grade or fifth grade grader, you know, you can think a little bit about um, the books are getting harder. So the, the characters have more complex, probably feelings around them. But for second, for second and third grade, a feeling is great. And why maybe you got, you know, you think that some evidence from the text that supports that feeling. Um, we don't want the jotting to be too much. It's a balance. Um, but we do know that if you slow down and pay and do a little writing, you will get to some deeper place in your, in your text. And I'm trying to get them to think about the, their feelings in a way that they can be more specific in in paying attention to that. That's gonna help them as well see the layers in their text and also think about themselves. You know, paying attention, I want them to pay closer attention to themselves and what they're feeling and the people that matter to them.
you. <laughs> so, so that was the, the lesson today. And I think really um, the thing that you can do parents is you can say like, you know, go to a great post-it that you made that you're proud of and what makes it a great post-it or can you read that post-it to me and share with me where did you get that idea? You know, so um, even just to help you spark some conversation with them, it can be a, a, a nice tool. Um, and so, but I, I, I am definitely one that we don't want the writing to take away from the reading. So post-its are small, um, but it pauses you. It, 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 it forces you to pause and that could be really helpful. Okay, parents, um, I hope you have a great day and thanks again for everything that you're, that you're doing. I'm thinking of you. Um, see you tomorrow.